Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video on adjusting the old one-piece style flow jet carburetors. That's on these older engines. This is the type of carburetor I'm talking about here. The, the whole carburetor is one piece. The other type is a two-piece. This is the carburetor and you got a little intake manifold right here. We're not going to be talking about these right now. That'll be a video for later on. I just put that muffler on there. I forgot this motor didn't have a muffler on it. I just painted that muffler up last night. You see the front there, it's got a little bit of oil on it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some gas in here. And once I get the motor warmed up, I'm going to take the air cover off here. The air filter cover. So we can get to the adjustments on the carburetor. And I'll show you different situations on the, what adjustment needs to be done when the engine's running a certain way. Also note, there is a different types of air breathers like this where your air filter is. This is the old style. It's got two screws in it. I'm missing one here. You just take these two screws out, and the other type will be just like this with just the one screw on it, or like that with the two screws on it. I'm just going to go ahead and take the cover off here while the engine's, uh, before I start the engine. This carburetor's a little picky on this engine anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the uh, different screws that's on here. First of all, this here, this is your idle mixture adjustment here. That screw adjusts the fuel-air mixture of the idle. And this screw here adjusts your idle speed. You screw it in to get your engine to run faster and you screw it out to slow the idle down. Then the adjustment down here on the bottom, right here, is a, uh, is a high side main fuel air mixture adjustment screw that adjusts the main fuel air mixture and the high side so it adjusts the full throttle mixture and you all probably notice the spring here that's for the choke I don't have the choke linkage hooked up on this and without the spring the choke plate always wants to close so it's got a little bit of rust down there this carburetor ain't in the best shape but it does run pretty good now let's get this motor started here I'm having to jump it off another motor here. Sometimes it's, you can choke an engine like this with your hand if you don't have a choke set up. And I usually do this all the time when I get the air filter off. Right now it's running pretty good. I'm gonna make it run run lean. You're gonna hear what it does when it idle, tries to idle lean. See it smooths out when it's when I've screwed the screw out, which makes it run richer. And when it screws in, it cleans it up. Now we're going to see what it does when we try to run it too rich. You can't really hear much of a difference when it's running rich. You can smell a richer exhaust if you're burning too much gas. So screw it back in until it smooths out and you're not smelling too much gas so it's not chugging black smoke. Now we're going to see what the high side does.
as you can see, when it tries to run through red, it starts chugging, chugging black smoke. I don't know how well you can tell that. Let me zoom out a little bit and I'll show you what it does again. See, it idles great, but as soon as you give it throttle, it starts chugging black smoke, running too rich, trying to flood out. little sputter now and then like you hear there is okay. If it starts backfiring and sputtering all the time, that's when you gotta try to lean it out a little bit. Now I'll show you how the idle speed adjustment works. See, I bottomed it out and tried to idle too slow and died. That right there is where you wanted to idle. Now most bridge engines, and just about any small engine, idles at about 1800 RPM. In order to get it adjusted right, you have to get a tachometer attach it to the spark plug wire and the ground the way it read out give you a readout just like on a car what rpm the engine's running at this is just an approximate guess so if you get it running too slow the oil won't circulate good in the engine you can cause bearings to start wearing now if you get a motor that you're not for sure if it's adjusted right screw it all the way in until it gets snug don't force it and back it out one and a half turns it's half a turn it's one turn one and a half turns and the same for uh, not this but the same for the bottom screw too that gets you in the ballpark and you can go from there adjusting it and when you screw it in either the top screw right here for the low side or the bottom screw for the high side and main it leans it out when you screw it in and to get it to run richer you screw it out and just take about an eighth to a quarter turn each time you try to adjust it and see how it does well guys I hope this made sense to you and if you got any questions about it, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And later on, if there's any uh, interest in it, I'll put it a, make another video on adjusting the newer style with the two-piece carbs. Which on the two-piece carbs, carburetors, if they usually act up, you usually can't adjust them out. You usually have to just rebuild them to get, to get them to run right again. You got a lot of adjustment on these old style right here. I really like these old carburetors like this. And as always, I appreciate you all watching. We'll catch you all in the next video.